What's up, guys? We are on Thursday of our Anything's sure. Possible Pat. Is, is it Thursday? I think so, man. They're all kind of running together now. That's, that's, uh, that's what happens when you do them all in one day. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh... So we're actually in the future right now. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so we'll go back to the future with Marty McFly later. Okay, I'll stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are talking about Anything's Possible Power and how that applies to our <clears throat> life. And yesterday we talked about how God guides the misguided or he redirects the misguided. And today we're talking kind of along those same lines, but how the anything's possible power redirects the mistaken. Because I've made so many mistakes in my life. And, and sometimes, yeah. <laughs> uh, and sometimes that, that gets into our heads and we think, man, I can't. I can't come to God now. Yeah. I've messed up too much. I've done too much wrong. I've, I've gone too far away from him. If, if these people only knew the things I've done, they, you know, they wouldn't even want me in church. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say to, to people who, who feel like, hey, I, I may have made too many mistakes? Well, first off, I, I would address uh, the first thing I, I would say is, um, you know, too long, we in the church, and you know, I say we because I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm included in, in the Big C Church. That's been our, uh, our, our go-to, in the attitude that we don't ever think that really deep down. I, I don't believe we think that, um, but it's been our attitude that you've got to get cleaned up before you come to church. You got to put on your Sunday best. Sure. Um, but that's kind of like telling somebody, hey, you need to get in shape before you go to the gym. Right. Nobody ever says that. Like, why would you ever tell somebody, hey, before you get in the gym, you, you need to go start running and you need to look like buff before you, you know, I don't go to the gym because I hate working out, but, but, um, but, but that's, that's crazy. But that's what we, that's the, that's what we kind of put off to people in the church. And so, uh, you know, that's wrong. That's, right. that's not true. That's what, that's what God's for. Yeah. That's, that's what, that's what he wants to do. He wants to clean up our, our mess. And so. That's why, you know, when we say everyone's welcome because nobody's perfect, that's what we mean. Yep. Come to God. Yep. Uh, and then the anything's possible, what we're talking about is, is, is that reconciliation with the Father and letting Him redirect what we've done, the things in our past. And, you know, I, I'm, I mean, I'm right there with you with mistakes. Like, I, I mean, we, we, I don't have enough time on this, on this film to talk about all the mistakes I've made. And, um, you know, the common denominator between all those mistakes is, is me, you, right. you know, I mean, I've, I've been a part of every bad decision I've ever made. And so when you look at that and you say, you know, how, how can, how can God forgive some of the things I've done? How can he, uh, make these things right? Well, I, I can't explain how he does it, but he does it. Right. Um, and, and I, and I think back to a story in, in Genesis, uh, the story of Joseph and he was sold into slavery by his brothers. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we can all understand uh, anytime you sell uh, someone into slavery, that's not a good thing. Right. But when you sell your brother, your own flesh and blood into slavery. I've wanted to. <laughs> well, I don't have a brother, <laughs> uh, so I can't, I can't speak to that. So, um, but, but I can understand uh, maybe you, you know, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but, but when you, I mean, I, I don't think your parents would, I, I think your mom and dad would probably be like, uh, we're going to sell you now. Okay. Right. You know? And so, but, but, but we can all understand that's a mistake. Right. But as you look at this story and how God redeems this story and, and when he gets to like the end of this story and their father dies and their father finds out that my son's not dead. Uh, and, and Jacob crosses that line from, from life, uh, in, in, in this world to eternity. And his brothers get nervous. It's like now that dad's dead. I mean, he's going to come after us. Like he's going to, he's holding a grudge. And, and right. Cause Joseph has risen to, yeah, he's, to, he's pretty powerful yeah. in, in the world right now. He's like second or third in command in the world. Right. Uh, you know, and so, um, and so they're thinking, and he's going to, he's, he's going to take it out on us now. Now that dad's gone, I mean, he's got no reason to keep us around. Um, he doesn't need us. And, and it says right here that he tells him, don't be afraid. I'm in the place of God. You intended to harm me. What you were did when you sold me into slavery, you intended to harm me, but God. And I love when Scripture says "but God" because that's just something that's like, "Woo, thank you, Jesus." Yeah. You know, it says, "But God intended it for good." Yeah. Man, what an attitude! Because I don't, I don't have that attitude a lot of times, uh, even when I do dumb things in my own life. Uh, but God intended it for good. 
and, and then it says, um, it says to accomplish what is now being done. And, and I love this line. It says, the saving of many lives. Man, what a testimony that God takes our mistakes and he redirects it for his glory, for his fame, to, to, to push him to the front. And, and I know that if, if you're not a follower of Jesus, that, that kind of sounds selfish. Right. right. But he's the creator. Yeah. You know? And, and so, um, and, and we're here because of him. And so when, when we start creating things, we can be that selfish too. But, but I mean, like, like when God says, man, I can take that. My power can take that mistake that you've made. Maybe you're in college and uh, you were working on your testimony in college, maybe like I, I did some. And, uh, you know, you were, God can take that, that, that testimony and, and turn it into your story. And that's right. what he does. And, you know, he can take your misery and turn it into your ministry and to, to where other people come across, uh, where you can take your experiences and, and your mistakes and, and use it for his glory. And, and you can teach other people, hey, here's what I did. Yeah. Here's, here's how I overcame this. Here's how God took this mistake and redirected it for his glory and his power and his fame. And so that's, that's the beauty of this, this one because I, I think we all understand that nobody's perfect. Right. Uh, you know, the thing. We understand it. Um, and so, and, and we all, in some ways, we all have things in our past that we're not proud of. Right. We look at it and we say, I just don't know how God could ever use that. If we allow him to, if we allow him to use it, he can. Mm -hmm. And he will. He will. Uh, and so, and, and I think we're going to see this tomorrow. Uh, he'll use anything he, he can. Yeah, absolutely. And so that's, that's super good news that, you know, Joseph had brothers who who made a mistake against him. So even if you're not the one who, who have made the mistakes that, that kind of have shaped and, and molded your life, uh, God can still redeem that. And he right. still wants to redeem that. So would you, would you let him today take your mistakes and turn them into a ministry, turn them into uh, something he can actually use for his good? And I know when we're staring at it, a lot of times we don't see how God can ever use this right. to, to our advantage, to his advantage, uh, but this anything possible power uh, redirects the, the mistakes and, and he really uses everything uh, for for our good and His glory, That's right. That's and so right. Romans that, eight twenty eight exactly. Let that be an encouragement to you today. And this has been another day of our Anything's Possible Power video. So we hope you enjoy, and we hope you'll tune in tomorrow.